So what me and the boys did in the last few weeks is we fabricated the rear bumper for the new limo truck called the Gambler. This is a piece of 6 by 14 rectangular tubing. We cut and tapered the ends, put the oval lights in for LEDs, put a 3 inch receiver hitch in, cut in for the license plate. We just got done sandblasting it and I'm on my way to the powder coater. So that's the rear bumper. This other piece that's tied down here is the bottom of the dash and this dash came out of a Freightliner 2003 or 4, I'm not sure what year it is. This is the bottom piece of the dash. We hacked out the old 69 dash. And over here, this is the front bumper. We actually formed all this. We bent this up in that big Cincinnati press brake that I bought a couple years ago. Um, it's 8 inches tall. It's about 7 foot 8 wide, just under limit. And it's about, I don't know, 18 inches deep. We've got four headlights in it, two 8 inch HIDs and two 4 inch HIDs. I'm going to run the HIDs just, HIDs just for headlights in the front. And in the center is our battery box that gets buried down into the bed. So the way Stretched American Steel evolved is I wanted to build a big work truck. So I started building this big work truck and it started to evolve into a limo truck, a pickup limo truck. So me and the guys put our blood, sweat, and tears. We bent it, we stretched it, we ground it, we polished it, and we painted it. So after that truck, I had another idea to build even a bigger limo truck, the Gambler. We're in the middle of that right now. But in between those two trucks, I was like, you know, I want a really cool work truck. So what we have here is a 1966 Ford crew cab. Put on a 1996 Ford LN9000 semi truck. So I took the LN9000 truck cab off, took all the wiring out of it, took the pedals out of it, took the steering wheel out of it, identified everything, took this Ford crew cab, stretched it 12 inches, stretched the front 12 inches, built all the body mounts, set it down on the chassis. So now I got me a really cool work truck. Holy. So we kept the same theme with the front bumper, cut these cool angles in. I was going to invert the headlights inside of it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do something different like a pair of giant mammaries. <laughs> Can I say that? Yeah. Actually these are uh, headlights out of a school bus like a 1985 or 86 and the lights actually were vertical so I turned them horizontal then I had to turn the lights in here back so they'd point right. This duck was shown in a couple different movies I think the first movie I seen was called Convoy with Chris Christopherson and then our seats that we got in the front are out of a 2006 Dodge Daytona we had a little bit of modification to do sometimes when you hook things up they don't always work out right so when you push the lever back the seat goes forward you push it forward, of course, the seat goes back. Push the lever up, it goes down. Push the lever down, it goes up. That's the way I like things, a little backwards. So if someone tries to drive my truck, they're going to crash. And these fuel tanks came off the school bus that the headlights came off of. So what we did is we cut it out and inverted a step in here for the rear and for the front doors. Had these powder coated by Perfection Powder Coating. Well, Chuck did a pretty good job for me. And the bed itself actually we built the bed around these stainless toolboxes. I kind of cheated. I was going to build the boxes myself, but it was cheaper just to buy them online. And these fenders came from my buddy Kevin over at Inland Kenworth. So on the tail of the truck, I had looked at a couple Western haulers. They got a pretty good design and did the Chinese blueprint and kind of copied what they had done, just a little more massive. I got my little receiver hitch, cut it in for the license plate. Buried the uh, LED light back here, so if I drop something out the back, it doesn't destroy it. So this is a 7-inch exhaust tip into 6-inch exhaust all the way up to the turbo. I was going to do stacks out the back, and eh, that looks kind of hokey. I thought this would be kind of hot rodish. I think Jesse James would like this. And one of the best features I really enjoy, especially when no one's paying attention, you pull up next to them. Like that lady over there. 